Hey everybody, I want to go into payment processing, right? This is something that most businesses need set up and I'm going to explain how everything works. So the first thing to know is that that's how a business accepts credit card payments, right? Whether it's online or through a terminal, that's how a business accepts payments. And there's certain things you should be aware of to make sure you're set up properly and you're not overpaying, right? Because when we analyze businesses during our uh, strategy sessions, this is one of the things that we find most that people are overpaying for. So first off, you always want to try to set up next day funding. All that means is if you batch out at a certain time tonight, meaning 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock, that those funds should be available to you the following day. The only exception is the weekends. Now, if you have next day funding set up, that's great because you always want to speed up your cash flows as fast as possible. The next thing is how is payment processing, like how does the pricing work, right? There's a lot of confusion, a lot of uh, ambiguity in how payment processing is set up and how it's priced. Typically, it's interchange plus if you are going to pay the fee. And what that means is each card, Visa, Master, uh, Amex, has they pay interchange to allow that payment to travel in that network and then plus is what the payment processor charges so it could be plus 20 uh, basis points which is 0.2 percent and that works out to an effective rate typically the effective rate is anywhere between 2.3 percent and i've seen it as high as let's say uh, five percent depending on how it's all set up and also depending on if it's you know traditional or high risk the other way to set up payment processing, and this is where we see the most savings, and where most people see the most savings, is called cash discount. And that's when a business passes the fee, the credit card cost, or the credit card fee, to their clients. So instead of the business paying the fee, the clients pay the fee, and if you think about it, it really makes sense, because why does anyone use credit cards? Because they want to get the points, they want the free 30 days of float, and they want to pay it off. So that's typically the two options in terms of pricing. Now, a couple things to look out for. If you are a uh, user software that is industry specific, I see this a lot in the gym space, I see it in some of the uh, service-based industries, if they force you to process payments through them and through their system, you could be paying way more than you have to. And the reason I say that is because a lot of times a payment processor will handle all the payments for them and give them a uh, referral on it or a kickback. And so I've seen certain places that have very, very high rates to process credit cards. You want to watch out for that. Make sure that if you are going to use a new software that you can pick who is going to be processing those payments. All right. And then next, there's, there's three processors that if you are doing more than $10,000 a month and you are still using, you are definitely uh, not putting yourself in the best position because they are expensive and the customer service it's very hard to reach people and they really can hold your money for any reason so if you're using Square, if you're using Stripe, if you're using PayPal uh, one, they can hold your money for up to 180 days for any reason two, it is hard to get somebody uh, on the phone to help you with any types of challenges you have and then three, a lot of times they're priced anywhere from three to three and a half percent and that's a lot to pay uh, to accept credit cards. So if that is where you're at, make sure you contact uh, a third party and you get a review done. Typically, if you process at a bank, you'll have next day funding, like if you use Chase, but it costs a lot of money to process with them. So my recommendation when it comes to setting up payment processing is always use a third party company. We're happy to help if needed, but always use a third party company so you get great service and great rates. And then how you have your setup designed, most of these third-party platforms or third-party payment solutions can get you new gear, new terminals, connect to a website. They can custom design exactly how you need your payment processing set up. So I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And I'll, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'll catch you later.